We're having a lunch. Hopefully we'll be able to eat our salad and then just pick our strawberries for lunch. So in a quick turn of events, we've already found a new location for the trellis. And definitely this morning the chicks have hatched. So I hope you had a lovely relaxing bank holiday weekend. Ours was lovely, it was very slow. Yeah. We got to read the newspapers and chill out and relax and spend some time with the cats, so that was nice. But we need to crack on today. So we're up and Adam. I've had a coffee, but I'm still trying to wake up, quite honestly. <laughs> I'm trying to get with the program. But we need to get on and actually start getting some jobs off the list this yeah. week. So Mars is going to be cracking on with the strimming down in the field and around the vegetable garden. I am getting on with tidying up so I'm in charge of jet washing and really kind of scrubbing up this space and just getting it looking shiny and clean and lovely for the season ahead. Before we get going we should also just say a huge thank you to this week's sponsor Greenworks. Those guys are very kindly sponsoring us again and they have also doing a giveaway again. We're running so many giveaways this year and honestly Greenworks have just been so generous so really a huge thank you to Greenworks. The details the giveaway will be below and we will give you more details later on in this vlog. Don't know if you can actually just see there is Leopold he's in the window he knows that we're going to be jet washing I think because the jet washer is out and he's like yeah okay that's going to be noisy and messy so I'm staying on this side of the glass which is <laughs> the right thing to do so I need to jet wash this area and just really spruce it up one thing I'm going to be focusing on is just trying to jet wash these mushrooms they're actually the original um, stone from the farmhouse so they were actually found here they were on the property and the farmers basically what they would do is they would use them as the legs of their wheat or barn storage areas. So their wheat or barn storage areas typically kind of look like a giant wooden shed if you like and then that would sit on top of the mushrooms. So those mushrooms would be the legs of the barn. So that would sit on there like that and it, you would have as many feet as you need or mushrooms as you would need to hold the, the thing in place then that would stop the rats or the mice so the rats or mice would run along here then they would try and run up here and then they would get stuck here so they wouldn't be able to run around this part and get in to the storage to eat the wheat or the barley so it was really really simple simple clever design um, and these were just found actually in the ground. They were buried in the ground. And when they were renovating the property, they accidentally dug them up and they found one and then they found two and then they found a whole bunch of them. So they took them out and uh, put them you know, actually there around our property so that we've got them to enjoy so i absolutely love them they actually sell if you go onto kind of ebay and stuff and you see them being sold they actually sell for more when they've got more patina or more moss or more kind of stuff growing on them to make them kind of look more aged but uh we're not gonna be selling them <laughs> obviously they're part of the property they're staying here um, and i just really like them when they're actually clean because they've just a really nice kind of natural stony color so I'm gonna give them a really nice jet wash, get them back to looking beautiful. And Mars is gonna crack on with the strimming. So he'll take you down the field now. And I'll just, I think I'm just gonna time lapse my bit because it's not gonna be very exciting to be honest. Oh, and the sun has just come out. Two seconds of sunshine. And we've even had some more tulips open this weekend and they are just looking as gorgeous as ever. We have these kind of like lemony kind of lime colored tulips open, which I think are doubles. And then we've had these really, really fun ones open, which are kind of like a, I don't know if they're frizzle sizzle or something, but they're really fluffy and just really, really pretty. So. They're very cheerful, so really glad that we did that. So loving those summer bulbs and I'm gonna help Mars now get prepared and load him up with lots and lots of tools, and things that he needs so that he doesn't have to keep coming back to the house every five minutes. <laughs> I'm down at the bottom of the vegetable garden. The brambles behind me have been completely taken over to the point where they were growing into the vegetable beds last year, they were growing into the grass, they were making this area quite difficult to maintain. So I fitted the metal blade onto this trimmer, I'm gonna hack through this all now, and hopefully it's gonna make this area a lot easier to maintain going forward. I 
I've got to say that gardening sessions like today are just such a fantastic gym workout. Really gets the, the heart pumping. It's fantastic exercise. The Greenworks trimmer actually has gotten through this remarkably easily. Uh, the biggest job actually is raking it all up, collecting it. And we get the added pleasure of having loads and loads of stinging nettles that have grown around the back. So the big heavy gloves are definitely on and I'm just trying not to get stung or scratched, but we're getting through it. Probably about halfway. Gotta keep going. That's it all done. I actually lost track of how many bins I ended up emptying, but we've got a monster pile of brambles around the edge of the compost heap, which is okay because we've pretty much dumped them all there. We'll cover them with grass clippings as the season goes on. Uh, and that way, if you do go into the compost heap, you're never going to actually stand or tread on a thorn. So in terms of land that we're going to be clearing, I think that's pretty much it now. Uh, I don't think Kirsten and I actually require much more than this. So this is the edge of the vegetable garden. Everything that's now left behind me, we're just going to continue to let grow wild uh, and let nature basically take over. time again and we are so so grateful and lucky to work here with Greenworks once again to bring you another fantastic giveaway. For your chance to win a 24 volt 25 centimeter 2.2 kilogram line trimmer from Greenworks head over to our website entries are completely free. A trimmer is something that comes in really handy for all of us gardeners so thanks very much Greenworks and good luck guys. Well about four to six hours of jet washing later <laughs> <laughs> and we are looking clean and tidy. I've got to say it was a big job and I am feeling slightly broken today. I'm not going to lie, being on my hands and knees for that amount of time, I should have put my knee pads into my trousers and I didn't, which was a big mistake. And then I got absolutely drenched from head to toe. I was definitely not going to come on camera at the end because I cannot tell you how many chunks of moss and mud that were in my hair, in my face, in my ears, it was everywhere. <laughs> Today is hopefully going to be a slightly lighter day and it's just as well because we've actually got a blackbird's nest up here in the corner just under the window and definitely this morning the chicks have hatched because we can hear them so it's just as well that I'm not going to be working here today so that was quite good timing so we can leave her in peace so I just need to basically move some of these kind of pots that need refreshing or emptying or tidying up I'm going to just move them to the back or to the side and work over there away from her and then hopefully start planting some of these plants up because they need it but before I do that I do want to put a rose trellis up uh, we've got a rose down the other side of the house and that rose we put one trellis up thinking it was going to be long enough last year and it's really not so we need to add another one just to keep it kind of on the wall and not kind of coming off the wall i'm going to put this one up next to it but i want to kind of just do a varnish on it unfortunately the varnish that we put on the other one last year we finished that varnish it was kind of the last of the pot and i finished it on that trellis so i don't have that exact same one that's a bit of a bummer 
but I'm gonna go in the back yeah. and see what I can find and see if I can find something close it close enough to it. They'll weather in time anyway. They do weather. They Especially weather really weather quickly. Wall, it's it, gonna get hammered anyway. It does, yeah. I just wanna get something on it to protect it and to kind of just soften this kind of colour of wood because it's kind of a bit greeny. Um so I just kind of wanna make it a little bit more browny or kind of honey toned. That's what we're gonna do now. And then you're gonna go down and do vegetable seeding? Yeah, everything's going into the vegetable beds today. Yeah. Exciting day. It's really nice and peaceful. I love mornings like this when there doesn't seem to be anybody around and you can't hear anything and it just feels like you're up here by yourself. It's just really nice. Oh, and then let me just show you these blue anemones which have come out down here. They are so pretty. They're called Mr. Fokker, which is F-O-K-K-E-R. Um, but they are just the most beautiful blue. I absolutely love them. And they're just so pretty because you put the corns in and then as with bulbs, they just come back, you know, over and over again. So they're very pretty. Right, are you ready? How are you I'm feeling ready. today? Yeah, a bit sore. <laughs> <laughs> How many hours of strimming? Six hours of strimming? Yeah, it wasn't so much the strimming. The strimming was quick and easy. Yeah. It was the bending over. Yeah the raking yeah and uh the last batch the lacerations yes initially i thought i was going to get through unscathed but uh this I, is... I, I can't say that i got through unscathed at all this is not the cats <laughs> this is Both arms. yeah it's everywhere it's absolutely everywhere so that's, he's it and is that, what it is and that's with and that's him wearing gloves as well but you know when you're dealing with that quantity of brambles it's just impossible to and not. i've worn a fleece in the past and all that happens is that it rips the fleece and yeah. it still gets through yeah. so you damage your clothes and yeah. you still get the laceration so i just figured suck it up get on with it yeah here we are that's actually a good point i did want to say that in one of our vlogs that if you guys are interested in kind of the gardening gear and the clothes that we actually wear mm -hmm. Um, then just let us know in a comment because I'm really happy to talk about that because I think it's something that kind of not many people talk about and when we first started to do getting really into gardening we really didn't know kind of what to wear and, yeah. and where to buy clothes from and what was actually going to work for us and what was going to be durable so if you're interested in that and you want to kind of maybe think about getting some kind of durable gardening gear then just let us know because we're really happy to, yeah, okay. to talk about that because we pretty much live in the stuff so we know what <laughs> is genuinely durable and what just yeah. is not very durable. So I got all the uh, pots out that we've planted up, all those summer bulbs from, from Dutch Grown. So there, I pulled those all out. So they're here, so they don't have to be indoors anymore, which is great. And they're coming along really nicely. The peonies are doing well, the steel bays, everything's really going well. I think we're gonna bring out the lemon trees as well because they've been stored inside the studio over winter. Um, but we're gonna pull those out. This one has, got a real big aphid problem it tends to kind of get it almost every winter to be fair but I'm gonna give it a really good spray with some potassium soap uh, which is the stuff that we use it's nice it's natural it's eco-friendly and it just kills the aphids so I'm gonna do that one but this one this one doesn't tend to ever get aphids on it I don't know why that is it seems to be a bit healthier pull those out Give them a good spray and then we'll put them into the right position but we'll give them a good treatment first but look this one's looking okay it's got a little bit of damage on some of the leaves but it's looking really healthy it's got new shoots there As a seedling update this year, it's been a moderate success. I think the biggest issue that we've had is just how cold it's been this spring. So the temperatures just haven't come up to acceptable levels in the studio, unfortunately. So as a result, there's certain things that hasn't germinated that we normally have great success with, which is a bit surprising. So for example, the courgettes and the pumpkins haven't germinated. Only two out of six have come out, which is a bit surprising because we normally get at least kind of four out of six. The other big surprise is the peas. Only one has come out, but we do know that we've always got a good backup. There's a little garden center down the road that typically does get quite a nice assortment of little uh, seedlings. 
So we picked up some cucumbers and some peas from them to basically cover up for the, the shortfalls that we've had in our seedlings. So all that now needs to happen is for us to take these down to the vegetable garden, put them in the ground, and hopefully they'll establish. That was quick and easy. I've planted all the seedlings into all the beds where they should be. The only thing that still needs to go in is the chard uh, that we're utilizing for our plant surgeon eco -M experiment. Uh, so just as soon as we've got the results for that, they're gonna go into the last spot in the remaining bed. To protect the seedlings that we planted out today, we've covered them with a transparent plastic bucket. This will protect the seedlings in case the temperatures drop over the course of the evening, and it also creates a little mini greenhouse effect. So yesterday I went through the painstaking uh, task of painting the new trellis. Uh, and I was kind of doing it and I was thinking as I was doing it, I was thinking, God, this is taking me forever. I'm sure that the last one didn't take me this long. Anyway, we painted it and then we carried it through to the side to put next to the existing trellis. And we were like, oh, it's the same size and it's the same width. Completely different, completely and utterly different. It is the same size. It is the same width. The dimensions are correct. What is completely different is the actual trellis, the little squares. I mean, there must be like, you know, a thousand little squares on this one. On the one that we've got at the moment, they're massive. They're huge squares, and which is why it would have been much, much faster to paint it. So we can't put this one up because having them next to, because they're right next to each other and it would just look really odd having one, one size and one another one. We'll just reutilize it in a different place, but we have to go back to the garden center and get the right shape trellis well size is correct but the design design trellis yeah and then the pots um at the front are looking really good and tidy so that's lovely i'm really pleased with those and now i've just got to do the pots at the back today so there's still lots of uh, potting up to do out here and i've got to refresh the hanging baskets which i don't think you can see but they're kind of up there i need to refresh those i'm going to be putting strawberries in there this year and i'm going to be putting strawberries on the table so we'll have some strawberries inside these pots as well so cool. we're having a lunch hopefully we'll be able to eat our salad and then just pick our strawberries for lunch awesome. that'd be nice so i was just wondering you know how you always talk about the merits of growing your plants from bulbs yeah if i was to plant a light bulb would that grow into a power plant <laughs> So in a quick turn of events, we've already found a new location for the trellis. We've put it up on the back wall behind me. It's close to the kitchen door, so what we've done is we've put a pot with a beef tomato underneath there. So now we'll have quick and easy access to both beef tomatoes and strawberries. I'm gonna pour us a dash. This is not sponsored. They have not asked us to say this, uh, but we've actually been enjoying these. They're basically, fruit flavored drinks carbonated fizzy but naturally what's nice about them is that they they use a wonky veg so yeah we're using the wonky fruit which is really lovely so that it's a kind of basically saving a waste product yeah so that's really nice and they're just zero cows no sugars no nothing so and i really enjoy the mango one and the mango one when you actually smell it it smells of nothing but pure mangoes right it's i mean really it's, it's it's incredible yeah. and it tastes of mango and the best part is it says no calories, no sugar, no sweeteners, all natural. And uh, just a winner as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And a peachy one for Kirsten. So I think I'm just going to finish these pots because it's such a lovely afternoon. And then we've got a lovely weekend, long weekend again. Got another bank holiday. Uh, Amazing, back back. yeah. 
um, and a king's coronation obviously so that's very exciting for everyone so I think we might we're going to try and do a barbecue weather permitting Mars is threatening to make a Victoria sponge cake yeah and maybe some cucumber sandwiches oh, yeah so really <laughs> celebrate some traditional English food and um, maybe put some decorations up we might put some bunting up and stuff so just yeah, get a little bit festive, have a sure. good excuse to have a little bit of fun and eat some naughty things. And don't forget for your chance to win a Greenworks Strimmer, the details will be below. So go ahead and enter for Perfect. that. Which good is, luck. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck to everyone. It's another fantastic giveaway. And a huge thank you once again to Greenworks for sponsoring this week's vlog. Thanks for watching everyone and enjoy the rest of your long weekend.